Morning, this service would usually be found the 170, but due to allocation issues, we've got 156. Bob Pines just here at Eccles Roll before heading down to Norwich. So press T to open the doors. Is that the message key? Shift and W, reverse to neutral. We set the AWS, turn the DRA off, headlights on, taillights off, marker lights. <laughs> So yeah, we're, we are at Eccles Road on the Brecon Line, available on ATS. So this scenario is called 623 Peterborough to Norwich. I did take this from the actual timetable from 2001, which which doesn't include head codes, so I've only got the start time. So we're calling at Eccles Road, Attleborough, Spooner Row, Wimondum, Wymondum, Way, Way Mon, Way and Norwich. So waiting departure from Eccles Road. Next stop is Athelborough at 7.52. So passing Eccles Road, the speed limit is every five miles an hour and we have three and three quarter miles to Athelborough. So yeah, the Brecon Line, it runs from Ely in the west to Norwich in the east, going through Shipper Hill, Eccles Road, Attleborough, Wimondham, and then Norwich. Also go through Fairford as well. So yeah, the scenario is set in 2001, where the trains ran most of the trains around here. I assume they did, and also I had the original Anglia franchise. No, the one with a turquoise delivery. So I got the timetable from uh, DP Simulations. So if you go to DP Simulations website, you go to a real railway, you go to timetable archive, and then scroll down towards um, Anglia. Then you uh, look for a timetable or something to do with uh, Peterborough to Norwich. For some reason, it's listed as Anglia Railways. But it says it's operated by subtle trains. So I assume it's Angular Railways stock, but with operated by Central trains. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, the Brooklyn line is available on alanthomsonsim.com or ACS. Got under routes, and it's called the Brooklyn line by Goo Studios. And it looks really nice. So FPS are getting like 36, 35. So scenery is... Scenery is decent for what it needs to fulfill. So the route costs nothing. So yeah, the route is free and considering it's free, it looks really nice. The passenger view. Shameless plug. Forty thirty seven volume one. Also the track. I think this is the same as like ACS's track, but slightly different. So speed limit is going up to 90 miles an hour, even though we do need to slow down for uh, Atlanta station. Also, given it's autumn, we should get some wheel slip. So I'm just braking a little earlier than usual.
because I'm, I'm a test run, I kind of did accidentally um, overshoot the platform by several hundred meters by accident. And pretty much what happened was I just like skidded all the way down the track. Because of the poor adhesion. Also, oh, because we're in Norfolk, the line is very flat, just like just just like the Fen line. You know, the one that goes from Cambridge towards Peebra in Kings Lane. So coming into Attleborough, there's the I think the other one's the up platform, and we're coming in on the down platform. Uh, the, these platforms are really short. So arriving into Athelborough. Stopping at the end of the platform. So arrival into Athelborough. Next stop is Spooner Row at 7.56. The weather looks really pretty in sunset. I'm also using the um, AP weather as well. It looks really nice. So the next stop is Spoon and Row in about three miles, two and three quarters. So. Spooner Row, Way Mondum, Way Mondum, Why Mondum? Yeah, I'm not from the area. And then Norwich. That's a very really short signal. So yeah, um, Mass, no, um, Major Wales Design has recently, as in recently, like a week ago, released a reskin for the. Um, that's because my line south Pendolino, which puts it into the Virgin livery. So it's, pretty much, it's pretty much like having the discontinued, discontinued Pendo, but it's a reskin. And coupled to the v, uh, VP57-6, I can drag it places, like on the North Wales coast, or the South Carlisle, or some other places. Maybe you could like, maybe, maybe if there's like an enduring work at like Lockerbie, you could like drag a pendle through like Dumfries. Or if there's an enduring work at like Greta Junction, you could drive the Pendolino to Carlisle, a drag 57 on the end, drag it through Hexham towards Newcastle, then these cross main line towards Newcastle, drop it off. Couple, uncouple from the Pendo in Newcastle, then drive the Pendolino drive by itself under its own power towards Glasgow. That'd be cool. Kind of like the opposite of what El and Yao do. So, spoon and row in less than a mile. Breaking for Spooner Row. Down wheel slip. We 
Yeah, just hold X. X makes everything better. So coming into the speed of row, aiming to stop at the end of the platform, because I'm pretty sure these are pretty short. Also, why is, it, why is the signal on the wrong side of the platform? Oh shit, it's coming up. <laughs> why is that on the wrong side of the track? Like I will see. Or is it Maney? I think it's Maney. Stop. So rival into Spooner Roll. Next up is Wamondum at uh, 801. I, I probably butchered that name about five times now. That was a cool shot. So yeah, I really like this route. It's very well one model, the frame rate is good. Very nice camera angles. Gucci Joe did a really good job, and considering it's free, it's amazing. So the next up is Wimondum. Wimondum, wherever however you pronounce it, in about two miles. Another Wimondum is Norwich. So at the next station we will um, join up with the uh, Mid Norfolk Railway from somewhere. Yeah, I don't know the line that I don't know the line that well. And then at Norwich we will join with the Great Eastern Main Line from the Ripple Street. And the warrior lines from Lowestoft and the Great Yarmouth. Good cars. Keep crossing clear, and there's a milk bowl. I wonder, wonder what that could be. Is this gonna go up? Oh, just gonna go straight through, okay. <laughs> With these signals, then they kind of like overlap each other a bit. Was that danger? Don't know why it was danger. We've got a clear path. Hmm, odd. Okay, so we stop. I'm sure if I tabbed it, we would have had approval anyway. Coming in to Wimondum. Whole bunch of like five times now already. So there's a branch here from the left that came in from the uh, Mid Norfolk Railway. Oh, it's clear now. Next up is Norwich, arriving at 8:15. Fuck 
can level in five six. Why does it why does it sound like sound like a machine gun? So next stop is Norwich in about 10 miles. So we have Heatherset, Trials Junction, Trials Swing Bridge, Top Junction and then Norwich. So looking at the map, it is a pretty short route. Then you have this circle for some reason. So yeah, over here you have Eccles Road, and over here you have Norwich. So the speed limit is 75 and we have 9 miles to Norwich. Sorry. So pretty much, pretty much what that sign means is that if you're working on the wrong line, so in the UK trains don't really travel on the left, and if you, like, say the right line was, like, closed, so you have to go on the right line, if you pass the crossing, you have to pass at 30 miles an hour, instead of the usual speed limit. Yeah, scenery is decent, considering the route is free. The sunset looks really nice. Yeah, single yellow. It's a repeater. I think that's a repeater. Why is the track on the right red? Why is it red? It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, just wanted you to hear the um, track joint sounds. They sound really nice. Especially when we're like spinning up and slowing down, you can hear the clicking clack to speed up and slow down. Yeah, for some reason we have a dangerous specs. And they changed to green. Okay. Five eight going to Chesterfield. So what what I was looking at the uh, timetable for East Midlands trains because I couldn't find one on Central Trains 
from like Norwich to Liverpool, it was East Smith trains. For some reason, it went from Norwich to Chesterfield, and then the times ended. It's a bit confusing. So looking at the map, we are here, and Norwich is all the way over here. So we should be in Norwich in the next 10 minutes. I like how you see the, I like how you can see the cloud just come through the roof. Trains in physics. I also like how the entire interior is modelled. I'm pretty sure that's like a toilet down there. Or a lavatory. This is like an old station. Looks like it. Maybe some sort of abandoned owl house. Hmm. And a random siding that no one uses. Do a quick passing shot. Speeding. Oh, what a surprise. As we go down the 1 to 164 gradient. Okay, if this is, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is meant to be like a busy main line, but it would make sense if you had, you know more signal blocks because I think this goes for about two miles, two, three miles and there's no signals at all. Right, is every, is every sing, signal on this route going to be danger? Single? Signal. Signal. Enunciate. I'm some sort of... Residential area with some factories. A motor warehouse. Uh, some sort of distri dis distribution center. I'm crossing under the Great Eastern Main Line from Ipswich and Liverpool Street. I almost said King's Cross. That would have been wrong. <laughs> Very wrong. But pull it to the signal and then it'll change to green. Like a troll. I 
I, I think this signal protects Trolls Junction. Because I definitely don't remember putting in any other AI trains. Approved! So yeah, we have two miles left to Norwich. So before getting into Norwich, we will pass by a Crown Point Depot on the right. Which today will be, for, will be full of like flirts and more flirts and even more flirts. So mainly seven four fives and seven five fives. Because Anglers with 70s transferred over to Transport for Wales, 156s were cascaded somewhere else, as with the 153s. So, others left in Norwich are flirts. Just flirts. There'll be a little bit of lag as we go to Norwich. Just a little, not a lot, but just a little. I call green. Joining up with the Great Eastern Main Line at the Liverpool Street through Stratford, Genfield, uh, Chelmsford, Colchester, Ipswich, this Stone Market, and towards uh, Norwich. Lagging. Please. Crossing over Charles Swing Bridge. So in Crown Point we can see uh, 158s, 156s, 86s. And so we have two coaches. Lines from the right join from the Warrior Lines from Sheringham, Great Yarmouth, and Lowestoft. I assume the clear one is ours. So we're coming in on platform number three. Just notice that there's a screw missing on the right. So this is Norwich, where the train terminates, and the video. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this short run of the Brecken line, Breckland line. So subscribe for more changing content, there's a lot of it, I think this is episode 210. So like the video is also inclined, uh, follow me on Twitter for future video updates, join my Discord, 
links in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Assuming I don't crash into these buffers. So, gently pulling up to these buffers. And rival into Norwich.